Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons, like diamonds. Got my bro, Luke Simons, like diamonds. Talking about the 9010 zone. Let's see if we can pull up this presentation. You guys are even going to see the slides. We had nothing here. It is it's very, very, uh, I would say low budget is uh, the key. So if you're listening on the podcast, because we're recording this for podcasts, we're on Facebook Live right now. We're going to take questions. This will be 100% live. You get to see us probably screw up. And I uh, probably have some technical difficulties knowing uh, us in Keynote. Um, but we're talking about the 90-10 fishing rule. We've discussed this many times, and this is probably going to be the most in-depth presentation or training on it. I, uh, I showed it here earlier for those on Facebook Live, a little teaser. We've got some really cool drone footage. The drone footage is one of the best ways to prove this 9010 zone and we have a couple different ones in a couple different spots we're gonna go through some case studies and if you don't know what the 9010 zone you're just joining us or just listening here it's it's really that 90 percent of all feeding fish can be found in just 10 percent of any area at any time and this applies to everything from from bass to walleye to, to snook and redfish and trout this presentation is really for inshore saltwater anglers so if you're into bass fishing this is not going to be as helpful uh, this is really for people who want to catch inshore slams faster than ever. And uh, Luke, do you remember what was the first time that we heard about the 90-10? I know, I know Paul Johnson, he's got a quote in this presentation. Uh, who was the other one? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's really a general principle, right? The, the, the Pareto principle, like the 80-20. Um, but 90-10 is the same philosophy. And I, I, I don't recall when I saw it um, being applied to fishing. But it's really just uh, is pretty much on point for for like anything, any kind of statistical data set is going to have this sort of result. And, and it's really cool to actually see it applied to fishing. I was a you know a finance major, so you know went through all that in college and never thought that I'd be using it on fishing. And it's it's spot on. It's Frank Sargent. That was the name I was looking yeah, for. Sergeant. So Frank Sargent, if you guys don't know who that is, legend here in Florida has written multiple books on tarpon redfish trout and snook and he talks about this over and over again he's like you got to find the 90 10 zone and it, it didn't hit us shame on us for like a decade until we really started getting serious about you know teaching fishing and just studying everything we're like well i keep hearing this 90 10 thing come up and up over and over and over again and what's really neat about it it makes it easier because you get to eliminate the dead zones first. Like you can see if you're watching, uh, you're, you should see that the slide here, it's just a screenshot of a Google satellite map. And we've got a few circles on there. And this is highlighting the 90-10 zone where most likely, uh, and obviously it depends on trends, things you know change, fish move during certain times of the year. But in general, and we'll talk about this case study a little bit later, these fish are going to be in these spots. Like, so everything else, you can just go ahead and eliminate. So that just makes life so much easier when you approach a new spot, or even if you're doing your pre-trip planning at your house or on your phone before you get on the water, it makes it so much easier. It's so much less intimidating, right, Luke? When you can confidently look at a map and, and based on trends, and especially if you're an insider, remember, you're going to have all this intel it, it, palm of your hand with the smart fishing tides and be able to say, you know what, like, I, I know where the fish are, they're going to be right in one of these three areas, and they're not going to be anywhere else. So a big part of it is elimination. And this is really the recipe. It's it's a three steps. It's super simple. Trends, which is a massive focus. This is the one that everyone seems to forget about, like weather and wind. And obviously, you know, if there's bait around, but the weather and wind part was something that obviously, we always looked at weather, but when we didn't really factor that in that is a massive massive game changer and then tides which obviously are very important you want to have moving water and then elimination of the dead zones and if you master these three i'm telling you you will catch more fish than you ever imagined kind of like luke here uh i i missed today for some family reasons and um luke's like dude i just had an epic day uh talk about it real quick rub it in that i now that i missed it yeah, so uh, we're testing, I was testing out rattles to see if rattles help for lures or not. And, uh, and so I put some rattles in, in the power prongs. I had two rods, the same setup, same rod, same reel, 10 pound braid, 30 pound leader fishing docks. And so one had a rattle on it. The other one did not have a rattle on it. And the bite was high. We actually tried to do it. We did a top water test earlier and the, top, the bite was terrible. And then switched over to bottom fishing and just slow bouncing jigs 
um, and the, the fish were, they weren't excited enough to go hit the top water, but they were all over the jig bouncing in the face and ended up catching, again, using the same principle, right? Of factoring in the winds, the, the, the current flow, the, the real time, the trends, the feeding trends. And we're talking about real time feeding trends, not so much what happened this time last year. Uh, that's a, a mistake that I made for many years. I kept very detailed notes year over year over year thinking that it would help me and it really did not is the real time trends is everything. And so we'll cover that later on. But anyhow, yeah, fish, uh, the, the video is coming out soon. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I caught a slot snook. It was probably 30 inch snook, uh, over slot redfish, about a 20 inch trout. Then I caught two nice keeper um, mangrove snapper, like 14 and 16 inches. Um, caught gag grouper, red grouper, that's yeah, jack. And I missed a ladyfish. I would have had 10 species if I, if I had the ladyfish. A sailed cat, I don't know if that counts. So. And then two keeper triple tail. It was like, it was a banner day. All in the power prawn? All in the power prawn. Dang. Um, and so I won't, I won't spoil the, the rattle conclusion. Obviously, it was just one day. This is the first day we're doing it. And literally, the, most of that was in like an hour span. It was, it, was, uh, it was putting the recipe together just right, and, and it pays off big time when it, when it does work. Um, and, and again, this is the, we're going to be teaching the, the, the same, you know, the, the principles on finding these types of feeding zones uh, in, in this webinar. Well, you already spoiled it because everyone knows you that you're going to be honest. If it didn't work, the rattles definitely outperform the non rattles. Otherwise, Luke would have just flat out said so. You never know. <laughs> well, I do know, and that's why we have rattles in our store. Uh, those things are pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So this ninety ten rule does change everything. There's a boy, Captain Peter Deeks. It lets you predict where the fish will be. You avoid the dead zones. You start catching fish like the pros and ultimately more inshore slams per hour, which is the goal. And these are the three case studies. So I hope you can stick with us. I know some of you watching Facebook live, we're going to you know throw this on the, on the YouTube as well. And obviously recording is for a podcast. Also, it's a three case studies. This is going to take up the majority of the time here. How to use the 90, 10 rule to catch endless amounts of speckled trout every trip. Even if you don't have a troll motor, we're going to show like exactly where we were going to show real spots, and, and, and most importantly, why the fish were there during that time based on the trends, based on the weather and the wind. Uh, case study number two, simple steps to eliminate all the dead zones in your area from the comfort of your couch. And that's where I'm going to pull over some of this cool drone footage. A lot to learn from that. And then case study number three, how to use the 90-10 fishing rule to predict where the redfish will be, which we all love catching reds, even in the heat of day. And then we'll have a 90-10 fishing rule special tide and sonar bonus tutorial that we will do towards the end. But first, let's just talk about the big problem here. because so this needs to be very, very, very clear before we move on. I'm guessing some of you might have heard this before, that the key to catching fish is just more spots. Wrong. That's absolutely wrong. Spots are great, but if it was just all about GPS spots, then... Everyone that owned one of these top spot maps would be catching fish every single time. And we know that's not the case. So Luke, do you know why more spots are not the answer? I'll give you a hint. It's already on the next slide. You can see it. <laughs> yeah, because fish move, fish have tails. And when they're not comfortable or they don't have enough food, they're not going to sit there and just take it. They're going to get out there and move and find either more comfortable water or areas with more food. And uh, even though that sounds simple, I promise you, we all make the mistake on not factoring that in. I, I at least did for many years, and, and we coach, uh, we coach people on a daily basis that 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 just the, the kind of the basics, right? In football, it's all about getting back to the fundamentals. The fundamentals need to be on point, otherwise, everything else is gonna gonna kind of fall over fall over itself. And and we're human, we're fishermen, we screw up as well. Like this happens even this year, it's happened where we get a little lazy. And we don't look at the trends, the stuff that we're teaching right now. And we just like, oh, let's go to the same spot that worked last week or two weeks ago. And all of a sudden it's a slow bite or no bite. And we have to go back to the basics. We literally go right back to what we're teaching here. And then all of a sudden we find the fish. Uh, I mean, it's, it's crazy how well this works. And Luke already kind of solved it and ruined the surprise. But yeah, what moves? It has a tail, no fences, fish move. They're moving every single day. We know they move every tide cycle. They certainly move every single season. And yet GPS spots do not. And that's why those random dots on a map rarely, if ever, work. They can be a great 
don't know. Uh, they could be a help, like at least point you in the direction of where fish might be during some types of the year. But to truly find the 9010 zone, you've got to understand those other two pieces, meaning that the trends and, and weather and wind and current flow. And that's also why most anglers like us for many, many, many years. So we feel the pain that keep going back to the same old boring spots over and over and over again, end up skunked and frustrated. Guys, here's the truth. Becoming a consistent angler is not about GPS spots. It's not. It's about all about being in the right spot at the right time based on trends, based on the 90-10 rule. And uh, I learned all this stuff from, from Luke. I'm still learning. Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a somewhat consistent angler. I'm still trying to get better. Luke, I believe, is more the master because he spends so much time studying this stuff. And uh, every time I take a little bit of extra time, I'm talking 10, 15 minutes and like watch Luke's smart fishing game plan and just do a little bit of homework. My, my, my fish catching skyrockets. And every time I don't, and I go out there sloppily, just like, Oh, go to the same spot I went to last time or same spot. I cut a nice couple redfish. That's when I'm like banging my head against the wall saying, man, I wish, I wish I just followed the 90, 10 recipe. It's not, it's not that hard. So once again, here it is, this is it. It's all about trends Weather, wind, bait. I mean, there's a lot of things that factor in with trends, tide and current flow, and the elimination of the dead zones. So this, I mentioned Paul earlier. Uh, you know, if you guys don't know, Paul Johnson wrote The Scientific Angler, one of the probably the top selling books of all time for uh, for fishermen. And he was a really big into going underwater scuba diver and looking at everything from the fish's view, not just, you know, what we think fish are doing down there. It's not a guesswork. He would love to go down there and, and study what fish are doing underwater. And this is his quote from one of his books, scientific angler in any given body of water in which I've dived less than 10% of the underwater acreage has held 90% of the game fish population. All too often, the fisherman has absolutely no clue that he cruised by some of the finest fishing areas he could ever imagine in his wildest dreams. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's crucial. And when you start getting underwater, that's when that's when you really, and the drone, and so that's why we've been spending a lot yes. more time doing the underwater filming and then the above the water. It is, it is really amazing. It's so helpful to see how these fish are actually, are actually positioning themselves uh, based on, as we mentioned, the weather, the current flow, uh, the tides, and, and there's just so much to be learned. Yep. And so although fish do move, they do become quite predictable once you know the 90-10 secret. So we already talked about the agenda. We're going to go over the three case studies, and then we're going to have the bonus. And uh, if you do stay to the very end, we are going to give you our entire 90-10 fish finding system. We have a system that does most of the hard work for you uh, completely risk-free. And at the end of the day, uh, I would say if you have 10 to 15 minutes, you know, per trip, that's all it takes. And we will literally show you where you should be fishing every single weekend, all year long for catching inshore slams. This is not for offshore. This is not for bass fishing. This is for catching inshore slams. And that's, we have that part completely dialed in. So let's get into case study. Number one, who's ready for case study. Number one, let me get some yeahs in there. I see uh, quite a few people, uh, watching here, uh, right now. Luke, I just made you co-host, so right. if you can, you already got it? Oh, let's see. Uh, so I'm going to stop your screen share. We will do this. So that is A-OK. -okay. And um, yep. technology, are we working? Look at that. Holy oh. smokes. Oh. And, and so so what, what this, this first case study is about is, is just about catching sea trout and, and doing it really in, in pretty much all conditions. And and this, this is an example, this is in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, you can, those who are around here, you probably, probably recognize it, but the same premise holds true pretty much everywhere. Um, it's, you know, this is an area with seagrass um, and, and kind of open bays, but the same premise holds true, um, you know, further up north where it becomes a lot of kind of creek systems, oysters and mud bottoms and, and very big current flows. But the, the consistent way to find trout and this is, this is leaning towards the warmer months, which we're in at this point, so we're going to cover some examples there, is that we, we know that sea trout, they like that, they like salinity, all right, so they're going to be closer to the Gulf, closer to the Atlantic, for those on the Atlantic. Um, it doesn't have to be right in the past, but at least, you know, three to five miles within, and the, the larger bays obviously can go further inland, but we were, we were at this area, this is recent, and uh, we were having a, it was a pretty slow day. The bite wasn't very good. We we're in between the moons. 
And, and we decided, okay, let's just go catch something. Let's just go get some action, get some bit rods. And what we started doing is we just go right on the edge of the channels, right? So it's getting warm out. We needed some current flow. We needed some cooler water. And we needed to, again, be close to the, to the Gulf. In this area, as soon as we got here and just started throwing some paddle tails, we were getting fish left and right. Um, and solid trout too, some, some uh, you know, 20 plus inches. And, uh, and it's uh, back to that 90-10 rule, right? You know, we can basically rule out the middle of the channel because there's really no structure. And, and so structure is a very wow. key thing. Um, in general, if you maximize the structure, you maximize the results where you want to have multiple forms of structure like seagrass, potholes in the, in the seagrass, you know, points of islands, oysters, anything other than just flat sand is a potential spot that a redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, snook can use to ambush prey. Um, and so and when you zoom in on here, all right, you can see this flat, it's a, it's a lot of grass. Here's the edge of the channel. And here, like right on the edge of the channel, you can see it has the kind of irregular shapes. And, and, and basically smaller trout were stacked all up in here. And, and they will be pretty much all summer long. So if you want to catch a bunch of trout, go right on the edge. The bigger ones, however, were holding up a little bit further in. You can see it gets shallower, right? This is deeper water, right on the edge, and they come up the shallows, little potholes like this, that's where the bigger ones were. And so very important is to just factor in the, 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 the trends. That's been the latest trend lately and get up there near the current flow and, and just cover, cover those areas, cover those, those, uh, you know, those, the 10% the zone that, that has all the fish feed. And what's cool is we didn't have the troll motor down. You don't have to have power pole. We could literally just drift that. Obviously you need to, you know, go with the wind, but we ended up just drifting down right along where Luke's mouse is there for you guys watching. And if, and if you are listening to this, by the way, I would go back and watch this because we are showing exactly where we were fishing and we just drifted down that line. It was, I don't know, a couple of feet deep, like where the potholes and, you know, then all of a sudden it gets four to, I don't know, 10 feet. I mean, the channel gets deep, obviously, but it's a nice little drop off. And it was, I mean, it was like taking candy from a baby. It was like every cast we were getting a, a strike of not catching a fish. There's some lady fish and stuff in there too. But those of you who just want to get tight lines, which that's the goal for most of us, right? We just want to catch a bunch of trout. And especially if you got like kids or your friends in town this summer, this is one of the absolute easiest ways. And it's all about using that 90 10 zone you get closer to the passes like closer where you got some nice cool uh moving water in there and you find ledges like that and i mean you can i mean you can't miss it let I me mean, look at that thing on the map it's so clear and you could do this in texas you do it in the carolinas i mean you know why one of our fishing coaches has now lived in in both and then fished all the states in between and he uses the same techniques the same 90 10 rule to go out there to, to find the feeding fish and that and, just makes it so much easier. And, and as far as ease too, one one interesting thing from this trip, and it's been a, a, a trend as well, is that you don't have to have live bait. That would that's a big misconception in the saltwater fishing industry. For I don't know why. Like bass fishing, everybody's using lures. It's like I say, majority of the people use lures, and a minority use live bait. And then for whatever reason, saltwater flip flop. And and I I've actually caught. Pretty much all of my biggest redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder on artificial lures. And in this day in particular, we actually had a live well full of really good white bait, really good scaled sardines. We were using blackout chum and, and doing some tips on, on using that. And so we were using the, the we were freelining the, the, the live bait at first, hook them in the tail so they would cover ground. Um, but they only swim so fast. Like they, they just really weren't covering nearly as much ground. We caught one little trout with them. And then we decided, okay, let's just go back to our, go back to the artificials. We put on the slam shady paddle tail on jig head and just started drifting. And that's, we got majority of the fish on. So you don't have to have like a, a, a the best live bait out there. Just get yourself into a good spot, find those fish. And, uh, and if, if you have, a, as long as you have a decent lure, they're going to come up and pop. Yep. Love it. And if you just look at this, assuming this is a hundred percent, cause we fished a lot of them. We fished that mangrove Island and I mean, 90% of the fish were in those little potholes closer to the edge and on the edge. I mean, that's, that's where we just got crazy amounts of tight lines. And yes, there's going to be some areas, especially, you know, as you zoom in or out, it changes the dynamic of what is a hundred percent. Uh, so there's always going to be tons of different areas, but the closer you get in there to that one little area, I mean, all the fish were right in there and they were stacked. And I can, I can only imagine 
how many fish were in there were getting a strike every single cast. Uh, that's when you know there's probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trout. And who who knows what else is down there? We didn't even fish it that long because we had to get back for uh, for some video stuff. But that was that was a fun one, and it was so simple, and it was hot as Hades. And uh, we just let the breeze kind of uh, push us slowly along that line and caught a ton of fish. Yeah, and, and this so this isn't and, and so we we talk about the GPS spot. So uh, for those watching, you probably this is actually a major boat ramp. So this isn't some like some spot that is super secluded and uh, hardly anybody can even get to. This is look how many look how many lanes are. Yeah, you can going. kayak. You can kayak across yeah. there. And, and and but but this isn't this doesn't work all year long too. That's what I mentioned before, where it's it's really important to factor in all the variables and particularly the real time trends. Because in the middle of, you know, I could say spring and fall, yeah, there's going to be some fish there, but not any of the big ones. Um, and same for winter. So super important just to not, not focus on pinpointing this spot and say, okay, I'm going to go there and we're going to crush them because that's not necessarily going to be the case, right? Those, in different conditions, those fish have moved to a different spot. And, uh, and, and that's, that's just, that's one thing. Remember, Joe, we, we caught our first slam when Dennis Ost took us out in, uh, in Boca Grande. Yep, and uh, we were like high five. We're like, oh, finally, we have we have some spots to go to catch slams, and like we were just dead set that we were going to crush them every other trip, and we kept going back to those same spots over and over again, and never caught a slam in those spots again because he he knew when to go there, yep. and and why, and we we just had no clue. We just knew about the spot, so. That's the, nice, probably the nice. biggest mistake out there. I still remember it. And, and that's why it's so critical to understand the trends and to focus on the trends and to join a club like ours, the Insider Club. That's our focus. I and mean, that's what we do every week is we're just constantly reporting on the trends. What's working right now to go find inshore slams? Uh, Luke mentioned it. That spot, if you guys are just focused on GPS spots, that spot is not going to be good in you know four or five months from now. Uh, it'll, it'll be complete in maybe even a month from now. Uh, and that's why we're constantly out on the water. That's why we constantly have our big network of, uh, of everyone from guides to our weekend warriors who are reporting on what's working. So you guys ready to get into case study number two? And keep asking questions, too. We'll, we'll probably just keep going through this, by the way, and then answer these um, either when we get off or towards the very end. So um, case study number two, if you guys are ready, the simple steps to eliminate all the deads in your area from the comfort of your couch. Now, I'm going to pull over the first one here. And this is some drone footage that we took. And we're going to start doing more and more of this. And, you know, obviously this is real live. Like, you know, uh, this is a drone. This is l us looking at a real spot, real time. Whereas Google satellite maps, they're awesome. But you're not going to you know, get to see the fish real time and be able to kind of zoom in and watch this kind of stuff. But you can do this exact same type of pre-trip planning. And this is really more for you guys to understand just how real this 90-10 rule is. So I'm going to hit play. You can see, what do we got there, Luke? Some uh, some thick snook there. Uh, yeah, those are snook. And, and four the, of them. The, the, the drone was pretty high up. Like, it doesn't do it justice how big these snook were. These were definitely overslot snook. And you can see them just stacked yeah, that, right there next to that. A couple of them are super thick. All right, so watch this. So the drone's up. Try not to spook these fish. And we're going to go up higher. So just keep watching. And, and there's a, a lesson here in just a little bit. So just keep watching and kind of just look around. I'm just going to pause it. And so I, I've, I've already watched this. So you can see there's like one fish over here. I don't see anything else because, I mean, you can still see those. And there's one smaller fish over here. There's nothing else in the screen yet. We're still going up, still going up. I'm going to pause again. I'm not seeing anything else over here. And assuming this is 100% of an area, which it is, it's just a little flat. I mean, that's 10%. We'll keep going up, keep going up. And I think that's where we kind of stop. And so you can see the shadow line of the trees. So this is very, very telling. Uh, I mean, and these are trophy snook, right? I mean, these are the kind of snook that most people would die to catch. This could make your year. Uh, especially that one really big fat one there. I'll go back in. Oh, look at that. Uh, so go back to 26 seconds here. So check this out. Uh, they're all right here on this edge. You can't see it here. Obviously, we'll show you in a little bit in some of the sonar. You can see some of this stuff, but this is a pothole right here. And that's what it would look like, you know, from the, from the boat. If you're in a tower and those fish were just right there on the edge 
of that pothole and the shore is right there. So this is still pretty shallow water and 90% of the feeding fish, you can see they're literally positioned, probably waiting for some bait to be coming down to them. They're literally, all of them were facing that one way. Uh, I mean, the 90-10 rule can't be any more explicit when you look at it like this. What do you think, Luke? Yeah, I mean, it's it's super clear. And as we as we go forward, um, keep going on. And and as we as we went up the shoreline, every pothole had fish in it. Like it was it was a very very clear trend. It, and it was and it and this is you know obviously this is drone. And here in a second, I'll show you the same spot on satellite map on the Google map that you can do from the convenience of your home. And as long as you know the trend of the fish being on the edges of the potholes. Um, near the shoreline, then that was a wind protected shoreline. This was back in winter. Um, then you can now find all the spots you want from the comfort of your home. So yeah, if you look up in that next pothole up, you probably can't see it. it is, I don't know if this if this one goes up and down there, but that next that next no, this pothole. Is, this is different footage than that other than that one. Okay, so yeah, we have yeah, an, an, I guess it's a different file, but that next pothole, if you can actually see it from here, there was at least twelve fish in there. Um, some snook, some redfish. And it was the it was spot on the exact same scenario. Um, they weren't cool quite as big that? as those guys. How cool was that? Yeah, like that. You can see there's one other probably little snook. It could be a mullet. Yeah. So so zoom back out, and then I'll flip over to the to the Google map, and, and so that you can see that that without having a drone, right? You know, trying to drone a place for all the shoreline in your area is impossible, right? It's not gonna happen. Um, but, but, it, but you can get the same Intel just from free Google Maps. Let me, uh, let me go over and share this puppy. Hijack my screen again, huh? Yep. And so here's that shoreline. And so I, I wish I, um, I don't know exactly which one it was in, but I believe that, yeah, but basically this is the shoreline. You can see the trees and I can't remember, it's been a while since I've been on this. Um, but there's three, there's, there's two or three, or there's three up this, up this shoreline, three big sand spots that goes in and cuts in towards the shoreline. I believe this was the first one. And then this was the second one, or there was another one down here somewhere. But long story short, you can see that this shoreline has the seagrass, right? You can see that it has the trees. We knew which way the wind was going. We knew we wanted wind protection and, and we wanted a slope that goes down to deeper water. And so knowing that trend, all we had to do is spend five minutes on a, on a map and, and now we got it. Um, so it's just the power of these online maps. You can see so much from, uh, from these things. And let's, uh, well, too late now, but only I'll, I'll pull mine up here real quick. So let, let's talk about why, because I think that'll be helpful to discuss why we wanted wind protection. Uh, whoops, let me move that over here. Uh, you know, it was a little bit cooler out, right? And so we were trying to find an area that had some sun, right? Because these fish, this is a little bit later in the day, one of the better times to take a, you know, drone up when the sun's a little bit higher. So it's a little bit warmer. So the fish were pushing up and they were also looking for wind protection because they wanted the warmer water and these mangrove trees provided that. So guess what we did? We looked for the potholes, which is a form of structure. Uh, in this area where we we thought there might be some fish and and there were and we actually had a pretty banner day uh, here just along this shore just positioned over here and casting you know up to these uh, these fish. And Simple as that, and it's just it's just so effective, right? It's all but again, it's all about the trends. Yes. And uh, and, and so year over year, the biggest what I, I guess what I recommend not doing is is paying too much emphasis on on year over year trends. Okay, yeah, this. Uh, last March, I caught fish in this spot on this tide. Let me go back. That's not that's that that will almost always do more harm than good because every year is different. You know, the fronts push in at different times, at different levels, and uh, and so that it's the real time trends. It's what what happened that like what what happened within the last week is way more valuable than what happened you know year over year over year. So um, yep. just don't make that over analysis mistake like I did. You guys ready to see another drone spot? All right, let's dig in here. So this was another area, just kind of a random one. We took the drone up. Um, I, I personally love it. I hope you guys love this as well. You can learn so much. And this is just going to go kind of real time, nice and slow. And it was, I remember it was crazy bright out that day. So it was tough to see anything. And we didn't even really know how many fish were down there until we got the file back. 
at uh at luke's house and actually started checking out so we're just going along this uh the shoreline it's pretty shallow up here uh but there's still sometimes fish coming you know all the way up and in a you know a few inches of water so we're kind of cruising along there and you'll see where it is here in just a moment but i mean beautiful looking structure if you saw this on the map i mean you're gonna say oh man this looks great and so what watch what happens here so it's getting a little bit deeper now and I believe I'm about to angle it down. And there's like oysters up here. Like the whole area just looks so stinking good. So I'm still not seeing, you know, much sign of life on any of this stuff. And we start angling down and look at there. I'm going to hit pause real quick. So do you guys see that? Those are pretty big snook. And I think there might've been a redfish in there. And all the fish, assuming this is 100% of his own, I mean, all of them were right in here, right near, ironically, this, you know, piece of structure. Uh, but this is structure as well. And they were all right there, right? As it, soon as it starts to get a little bit deeper, everyone, I mean, that's fish. These are all fish in here. Uh, and if you guys are listening, definitely go back and watch it. And I'm going to, oh, there's, but there's the one, there's the one loner. And he's actually coming here to his buddies because that's, he knows that's where the 90 10 zone is. Like that was the one fish and you kind of watch them. He slowly starts moving here, but look, see, Oh, can you see that Luke? Yep. You see the shadows? Dude, this place is loaded. I mean, all the fish are here in this one spot minus Mr. Loner over there, but that's also what 90% of the feeding fish. There's always going to be some random ones that are spread out or on the move, but all of the fish were in this hole. So if you just had power prawn, slam shady, whatever it is, or live bait uh, and sat here and just hit this area, you're going to pluck off a fish or two or more if you're not spooking them and being crazy. So Luke, what are your thoughts? What, what do you, uh, what do you see in this? Yeah, it's similar, similar thing. I can't remember what time of the year this was, but, um, but, but this is a clear trend that the fish are on the, on the, Look, you can see the date January 14th. Okay. So winter time. Yeah. So the, the, it's very clear that the fish are on the outside of, of the flat just before the edge uh, to the deeper water, right? The deeper water is that, that darker green um, over there towards the left. And they're right on the edge of the structure. Um, as we mentioned before, it's all about finding some structure because those fish, it's very rare. Although that one at the very top is sitting on flat sand, it's moving. It's moving from one structure to the next. Uh, but it's very rare that, that, a, that a, a fish is going to be positioning on open sand. And so super important. Well, you can see it moving now. So I guess you got to Yeah, they probably, probably spook them at that point. It's, uh, super important is, is to just keep that in mind. In most cases, in spots like this, um, and this is all season long, they're going to be on the edges, on the outside edges. So in this case, you have a sand patch, or sorry, a grass patch in the middle of a bunch of sand, and those fish are on the on the the edge of the grass. In the earlier example, it was it was really flip flopped. It was mostly grass and then some some sandy areas, which were the potholes. And again, same thing though; those fish were right on the edge. The one pothole, I wish we had another file because if we zoomed in on that second pothole and there was a bunch of fish and most were on the edge, some were in the middle. But as far as the 90-10, as, as we kept zooming in more and more and more, the 90-10 principle still applied. And, and the 90, right, the, the, I guess the 10% the of the zone where 90% of the fish were, was right along the, the, the rim of where the sand met the grass. So super important. So as far as casting, right, where do you want to maximize the time where your lure is? You want it to go in the middle of the pothole? No, no, no. You want it to go right on the edge. You want to burn right, right along the edges of those potholes, and uh, and that's going to have the highest odds of, of getting strikes. Yep. Isn't that cool, guys? All right. Who's ready to move on to case study number three? How to use the ninety ten fishing rule to predict where the redfish will be even in the heat of the day. Luke, I will let you uh, take over again, Luke. Yeah, all right, let me get this puppy up. So now we're, uh, we're, we're venturing over to the Atlantic coast. And so in the heat of the day, we need to factor in, you know, how, what the fish are feeling, you know, what, what is driving them as far as, as far as the, the, the spots that they're going to decide to stay. Cause they're going to, when they're not comfortable, they're going to keep moving until they feel more comfortable and they're going to stop. And so in the heat of the day, this is a, we were actually filming, um, a course with Captain Peter Deeks, and we had the middle of the day to fish. That was kind of the open time to go out there and just do some fun fishing. And so looked at this area, this is the Indian River, and there's not a whole lot of tidal flow. So not much tidal flow, 
it was one of those days where it was, I believe it was June or something, June or July. It was hot. It was super hot out yes. there. It wasn't, wasn't much wind. So like the wind can churn up the water and, and help you out. So the, it just wasn't good conditions, super hot, wasn't comfortable at all. So if we're not comfortable, the fish aren't comfortable either. It's kind of the way, a way to think of it. But as far as finding some, some small tidbits, right? 90, 10, the, the small little tidbits that are gonna have most of the fish are gonna be spots with shade. So in this case, there's not much shade around. We know the fish are warm, right? We know there's not much oxygen in the water. And so they're gonna be just naturally gravitating to areas that's cooler. And in this area, there's not much overhanging trees, it's docks. And so what did we do? We went dock fishing, right? Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. And we had a great time. We, we caught a ton of fish. We have a fun video of it. With and, lures, and, by the way. Yeah, all lures and we were just using jigs, right? And that's just very, actually very similar to what I did this morning because it just flat out works. But, but what we did is we just went and just fished every one of these docks. Not everyone had fish, obviously. Um, but then there's always going to be in a dock span, right? We, we fish basically this whole span. There's always going to be like, even the, with docks, there's going to be the 90, 10 zone. So we fished, I don't know how many docks we fished, but there was, I remember there were two in particular that were just loaded with fish. And, and so we, we got the first one, undid it, you know, went around, got back up with the wind so we can, we can position ourselves to cast, uh, you know, effectively and caught another one. Right. So we did it again. Then we, then we broke off on one. And we ended up catching a bunch of fish. Even had a, like one of the reds was like, it was small. It was like 15, 16 inches and a giant snook was coming up. I thought it was going to eat the redfish and it came up and came right to the boat and then saw us and turned around. But, but it was all about the 90, 10. And it was all about just knowing the trends based on the conditions, as I mentioned before, that's the, so, so important. Um, and, 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 you know, in a day where it wasn't super hot, now those fish don't have to be under the shade and they're going to be spread out. So, so having that, the, the tough conditions, you know, it, was, it wasn't quite as fun to be out there. It wasn't as comfortable as it would have been if it was like an early morning or late afternoon, but it, it actually helped us identify exactly where those fish were going to be because they naturally are gravitated toward that cooler water. Um, for many years, uh, you know, I used to think, oh man, this fish outsmarted me. You know, this fish really aren't very smart. They don't, they have a tiny brain. They're, they're just reactionary. All they're doing is they're reacting to the changing environment. And then once you can know how they're reacting to the environment, you've got them and you, and you have it, it it's, it's clockwork. It, it, is, it is surprising how consistent it is. It's why, why it just moved it to, to Texas and is you, and from North Carolina and has been using the same trends that we're reporting down in Florida and is working in both, in both areas. Really, I should say all three areas because those same fish have the same biological preferences, they're gonna to react to the changing conditions the same exact way, regardless of where they are. So uh, again, that's the thing that we, we always hammer that, but that's the thing that, that I, I was very stubborn on. I thought that I had to use different lures and different strategies when I lived in Melbourne, uh, the, which is um, where, where we were in this area, compared to over in Tampa or down in St. Pete or up in Crystal River. Right? No, the same lures work across the board, and the same strategies and tactics work as well. You just have to, it just has to be applied. Um, so that's why we uh, we cannot stress enough the importance of that. It's super, super important. Find that ninety ten zone, and I, like you said, there's one or two docks in this whole line where pretty much all the fish were, and that's where we just stayed and hammered them. And anyone who's ever had one of those days where you catch fifteen redfish, you know, one spot without having to move. You're in the 90-10 zone, right? If you if you haven't, maybe you've had a friend or you see someone on Facebook or Instagram saying, man, we caught 15, 20, 30 redfish or trout or snook in one little hole or one spot. That was the 90-10 zone. That's what it's all about. And everything else around it is dead zone. I mean, we've done this drone thing so many times. We're going to do a whole lot more just to keep proving it over and over again, not just to prove it because we've it's been proven, but more just to learn from it and see what kind of spots these fish are holding in what you know what is the 90 10 zone during certain times of the year during certain tide cycles and and just continually put all these pieces together because like you we're busy you got lives you got kids and uh you know jobs like we, we you know we, we value our time just like you right i mean we want to go up there and just confidently know where these feeding fish will be yeah, and so uh, just as uh, a thanks for participating and, and watching us. So here's this is the dock that had all the fish, and there's a reason why, right? This is the best one, 
And there's a reason why it was a little bit better than the others. If you look closely, look at the watercolor, right? This is a shallow flat with a little bit of grass. And now we have this deeper hole out there. And this one big dock has a ton of shade and it has deeper water nearby that it goes up to. And it's the longest dock. So it's got more structure going out close to the deeper area. So, so just knowing, again, knowing that to be a, a thing to think about, we can quickly identify this as being a top spot without ever having to go drive there. Yeah, cool. All right. I think we got a, another little bonus coming up here. Let me go back to sharing my screen. Well, this sharing of, uh, of screens. Uh, so this is the, the bonus section. For those of you sticking with us, we're going to give some pretty cool bonuses. And uh, the first one was this Smart Fishing Tides demo. We've done a few things here recently. For those of you that know about Smart Fishing Tides, it's pretty stinking awesome. We've been using it here exclusively for our tides or weather, wind, and even the, you know, the top feeding times. It actually gives you a, a number and uh, per day and then shows you what times of day will be best based on a pretty cool algorithm that we built here internally just for inshore saltwater fish. And it works so well. Uh, a lot of people started using it uh, and we never advertised it. We never spent a dollar advertising it. But what happened was we started getting bills from all these IP, uh, APIs because we have to pull in data from NOAA to you know Google Maps and all the stff that we're using. And we're getting like four five thousand dollar bills. And as much as we love giving a lot of the stuff out, like that's a lot of money for us. We, I mean, we're literally just, we make nothing on it. We have no ads. It's ad free. It was just supposed to be for our members. So we've now made it 100% just for insider members only. One more reason to join us in the insider club. So now all insiders get unlimited access uh, to the smart fishing tides. So uh, Luke, you want to pull it up real quick? Yeah, oh, no. Drew mentioned that we're getting those big bills. That wasn't us receiving bills. That was us receiving invoices that we have to pay the, the money. So just uh, to, yeah, to be clear, yes, we were we were receiving big bills. Like when you get a bill in the mail for your air conditioner, we were getting massive invoices slash bills saying you guys owe us four thousand dollars because you had this many people on your site using all this stuff. So yeah. And so, so this is Smart Fishing Tides, and, and this is the reason why I like it so much. And we designed it, obviously, and we designed it for fishermen, and in particular for inshore anglers who are going out to redfish, sea trout, snook flounder. It has feeding level projections that takes into account the season, takes into account the pressure, the wind, the wind direction, right, and the, and the change in temperature. It really just kind of, it really just does the work for you, to be honest. Um, and, and obviously, we teach you the details um, every week as well, but. What it has, it's a, it's a cool thing where it has the calendar, uh, again, with the strike score per day, and it looks forward so you can plan your trips. Obviously, the, the higher the score, the better the the odds of catching a bunch a of fish. A 10 is the max. So if you and see, I think we even have it, if you see an 8.5 or, or higher, it says call in sick and take the day off work. <laughs> and, uh, and so then we have this tide chart, which is crucial, right? You have to know your tides. That's one thing that I did do properly early on when I started learning saltwater fishing. What I did not do properly is I did not factor in the wind speed and the wind direction by hour. Super important. You need to know what that wind's doing. In many cases, the wind is going to be a big factor in, in not only where you go, but also how you position yourself so that when you know everything, you can actually have your plan and already know how you're going to position yourself to every spot before you get there. So super important. Um, so this happens, as you can see right here. And then it has, again, this is just to help out, you know, for those of us who can't go out fishing every day, which is pretty much all of us, um, this helps you just plan the, the time of the day to, to, to prioritize if you, if you have a flexible schedule. So, um, and again, this takes into account the recent trends and we make sure to, that it's as accurate as it possibly can be. Um, but most importantly, so this has the satellite maps. Um, so it has the satellite maps, and this is an area, this is in St. Augustine. We fished with a member a couple weeks ago, and as you can see, right, this is St. Augustine, the, the water clarity isn't nearly as good as it was on the previous maps that we were just showing. And, and so, and that's, that's the case, right? That's always going to be a factor. A lot of areas just don't have clear water very often. Some spots never have clear water. And so you have to, you have, to have a tool to do that, right? To, to use these maps to find, really to weed out the bad spots in addition to 
to finding the areas that are likely going to be the 9010 spots, the good spots. And so what we have here is we have sonar. So this is looking at the same area. I'll just zoom in a little bit. And we were fishing with uh, with the member and a cold front just came through. And so this is what like kind of a late season cold front. And so here's basically the same look at it, right? Same look. You see the two little creeks coming out and two little creeks coming out. You can't really get any intel from a normal satellite map. But now when you go to the sonar map, now we're talking, right? Now you can actually see the depth contours, crucial. You can't see from the satellite because the water wasn't clear enough, but we knew that there was a cold front. We knew that the fish weren't gonna be very comfortable and the fish up in the shallows in particular. And so we knew that based on that, the fish were gonna be moving towards the deeper pockets. So now, all right, we know exactly which, which creeks have the deepest water, right? This one had a couple little deep spots, but it was really hard to get into, super shallow. And then this next one, right? So these creeks looked cool on the satellite map, but then when you look on here, there's it's green, it's super shallow, uh, no, no go for sure. And this one, you can see the deep water going way up into the creek. A lot of deep holes and even, even zooming in, right? We can see some really deep holes, it gets down to seven feet deep. This one gets down to 15 feet deep. Guess where I hooked into the biggest fish of the trip? Right here in this hole. And, uh, and then you even push further back and you can see that this deep water goes even further back. And again, this was another zone that we that we had some good action, and so this wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't a type of situation where we we had to live in this area and, and spent a ton of time on the water. That's a big thing that I that I hear is, oh, okay, I just I'm not having very good luck. I just need to spend more time in the water. That's not the case. It's really about just it's need to to factor in some some game plans and, and then factor in you know the fish that you're targeting, how they respond to the conditions. And then just you use these maps to find those types of spots. And now you're no longer um, kind of captive to the amount of spots that you have, the amount of GPS spots that you have. Because when you know the trends, the, the spots are in this. You know, there's, and there's this, it's not that this creek is amazing, right? It's just this creek happened to have the right conditions or the, the right things for the given conditions. Um, so that's, I would say that's kind of the biggest uh, freedom that uh that we've now have um whereas back in the day if somebody was in our spot then we were going up to it and they got there first it's like room joe's it was like the the world is ending right you know we, were, we had our high hopes for that one spot somebody's in it man we only had two spots and now half of our half of our luck is totally dead whereas had we just known the trends we could have just gone right around the corner and found the same type of spot odds are the same amount of fish were there as well yeah. Isn't that cool, guys? I mean, right here in this one spot, this is for our insider members only, our insider club. You can have everything from showing you exactly what the wind's doing. And, and look, I want to talk about that in just a second on why that's important. Some people might be saying, oh, I kind of get it, but I don't. Uh, so you got everything from what the wind is doing, the weather, the tides. Then you can start picking out your spots based on the 9010 zone. We're going to share another feature uh, that we give our members every single week that ties in with this, which is Luke's smart fishing game plan. And then, of course, you have the sonar down there, especially for areas, you know, like Texas, Louisiana, or, you know, even up in there in Jacksonville, where you, your example was, where it's a little bit murkier water and you can't tell right off the bat, hey, is this, is this going to be way too shallow or too deep? It's a, it just makes it so much easier. It's such a time saver versus just kind of hoping and praying that the, you know, that everything's going to look, Oh, you've got the weather here, real time weather. By the way, yeah, the weather, around. and this is crucial. You need to have, regardless of use this system or anything else, you need to know what the weather's doing, especially as it gets warm and those lightning storms start popping up. Very important to know where the storms are and in which way they're growing. It's, they're not they're not always going in the, the direction of the wind on the water so very important safety thing so that's why we have this in here we had to pay out we have to pay good enough money to have this in here as well but this is a one-stop shop for everything that you need as you see yep uh so talk about the wind real quick too why that's so critical to know the direction of what's happening up uh, towards the top or wherever um yeah so the wind is crucial um it's not always crucial in this case it was very crucial because the, the trolling motor wasn't working and so we our, our way to go from our way to actually cover ground while fishing was to use the wind and the current 
and the wind was super strong. And, and so then we know, we, you know, using this, we knew where the holes were, right? And then we knew which, which way the wind was going. Obviously, you can feel it. And then we knew which way the current was going. This is a very high current spot. And so you're not, you're not going to be surprised which way the current's going. It's ripping. And, uh, and so we just had to use, you know, the wind and the current to, to actually drift and have a good drift where we can actually cast to the structure. Um, so sometimes, you know, you want to have the wind protection. Sometimes you want the wind blown shorelines. And, uh, and you obviously want to use the wind to your favor. So it's, uh, it's a very, very important factor especially if you're uh, in a kayak or a paddleboard, but it's also super important for your boat as well. Um, especially if it's uh, like most like boats, like bay boats that have a lot of pole slap. And so if you're, if you're approaching your spot in the wrong direction relative to the wind, those waves are slapping up against your hole and those smart fish are gone. They're totally gone way before you can get a cast in. Um, so you need, to, you need to make sure that you're, you're working with the wind or at least at the right angle that that you're not having that full slap mess up your your fishing. I see that time and time again. Um, you can even hear it. And I go and I get yeah. in a boat that's at a wrong angle to the wind. It's it's like painful to hear because you know you know all those fish are going. They're gone. Cody self, I see Cody, Cody self is. It said he's watched like three times. Maybe he just keeps coming in and out. What's up, Cody? Always on here. I love love that guy. Um, so let's keep moving on here. I know we're uh, trying to get this thing all finished up because we have a couple more cool things to share. Uh, so that was the smart fishing tides. And then we've got the fishing reports. This is the interactive map. Guys like Cody, who's one of our insider members, he knows this very well. This is just a little screenshot of the map. Obviously, it's not the entire country. It's Texas to Virginia, which is where the majority of our members are and our fishing reports are. And you see a lot of people are inland and are, you know, doing bass fishing reports as well. But for the majority, I mean, you can't even see this. There's so many reports. I mean, they're stacked on top, on top, on top, on top of each other, like 50 times over. Uh, I believe there's 20 something thousand, maybe more 30,000 fishing reports now on here very detailed like this is one that just happened today it happened nine hours ago 30 inch speckled trout want to give andreas their uh, little shout out there and that was in uh, where steena hatchie area and uh, i'm not going to show the full thing because a lot of our members do uh share a lot in, in terms of exactly where they were what they were using etc so you would usually have a quick little intro on uh, what happened if it was lures or uh, live bait and then down below it would show everything from the tackle they were using you know any taps and tic -tic, uh, t tips and tactics that was pretty funny uh etc and it's so helpful I mean, this is where luke and i go I, I spend at least an hour every day looking at these reports myself it's so different than all of the other stuff out there because one it's positive people are helpful and, and number two, you actually learn something. It's not like seeing someone's trophy shot on Instagram. That's cool. And it's got its place, but this is people like actually like sharing helpful information. So every time we go on a fishing report, we're doing it ourselves. Our fishing coaches are doing it. And now our members are doing it to the tune of what 30,000 plus uh, reports, I believe are, are in here of, uh, of our members now just, just sharing and it's anglers helping anglers. And uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, it, it's one of those things that when we first built it, we're like, yeah, kind of be cool. And now it's like our favorite thing in the world. Uh, I mean, we shut down the old Facebook group completely like done the insider group still had that public one out there. And, you know, if, if you're watching it on this public one, and we hope you, you know, join us in the insider club, this is where, this is where the real stuff happens. And now we've got, you know, categories for, for meetups and events now that, you know, this whole COVID thing is not 100% behind us, but getting a whole lot better. And uh, we even got a meetup coming up here uh, next uh, next weekend. So I'm uh, starting to see some more more meetups that are happening, and uh, and just just an awesome, super helpful community of uh, of anglers helping anglers. And then what Luke does every single week, usually Thursday night, Friday morning. Uh, Friday morning is usually kind of the latest, but he goes through every week all of these reports basically like a curator if you guys know what a curator it's someone who's going out and taking a lot of information and boiling it down into something short and sweet and so he goes and takes all of the reports including his own personal on the water reports and our fishing coaches on the water reports from you know texas to both sides of florida etc and then he does it in 10 minutes or less it's kind of his little promise to all of our members 
in 10 minutes or less, he breaks down the 90 10 zone. That's all he's doing is guys and gals. Here's exactly where you want to go fishing the exact types of spots based on everything happening. And he'll go through the, you know, obviously for the, the wind and the weather and just kind of what's happening just 100% real time. What's working now, trend based science-based data. It is like having a full-time fishing guide in your back pocket on speed dial just to say, hey, these are the kind of spots that you want to be targeting uh, this weekend, right now, like in the next 48 hours to go out there and catch inshore slams. And here are just some of the testimonials. We get them every single day now. Uh, these are just some of our members who have said, hey, the weekend game plan, it's called the Smart Fishing Weekend Game Plan. Uh, slam shading, the weekend game plan. These are all people who have uh, absolutely killed them. Use the weekly planner. It works. Uh, it's so cool. And it's so cool to see it work. And the worst thing I hate is when people get in and just don't do it. I mean, it's 10 minutes. And so we always say like, if you just have 10 minutes, because the number one objection that people have for not joining us in the club is time. Let's face it, we're busy. And we always come back and say, well, clearly you want to go fishing and you want to maximize your time, right? You value your time, right? Well, if you can just take 10 minutes, like there's a, you could spend 10 hours a day if you wanted to, but if you could just take 10 minutes a week, you will know more than 99% of all the weekend warrior anglers out there. And we have full-time guides that watch this 10 minute video and get a lot of great, great tips from it. So 10 minutes or less, you will have more confidence and you will know more than about 99% of all the other weekend warriors out there that are scratching their head and just hoping and praying no one's in their spot. They always go back to. Yeah. There's, there's basically two game plans as well. So one is just for those of us who just really want to go out and catch big fish, right? Go out and catch, you know, quality, Snook red trout finder, and then uh, the seasonal triple tail tarpon. You know, the, there's obviously going to be sheep's head snapper. There's seasonal stuff, um, and then the the other game plan is usually shorter. It's it's just how to go out and take kids fishing or take somebody new fishing and just catch a bunch of fish. So there's the the quality game plan, and then the quantity game plan. They're very they're they're almost always going to be different. So we highlight both that way. No matter which one you're doing, you're covered. Um, and, and again, it's, just, it's really cool to see the testimonials of, 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 you know, parents just totally new to fishing, go out and their, and their kids are smiling with big fish in their hands. And, and, and most importantly is that they weren't just bored getting sunburned and playing video games on the boat. Like they were actively engaged with fishing because they just used that, that quantity focused game plan and caught a bunch of fish. Yes. Yes. All right, let me move to the next one here. So guys, can we give you the proven fishing trends and show you exactly where to fish every single week based on this 90 10 rule all year long completely risk free now i'm hoping you would say that the past hour has been helpful um, if you've been with us this whole time i'm certain it has if you are like me and you just want to constantly be, be becoming better and just more consistent uh i mean just the couple of little case studies we shared were super helpful obviously we can't cover everything you need for all year long in an hour webinar, even if we had all day. So we want to give you, if you're still here, a special offer so you can get everything you need to find the 90-10 zone every single trip. And if you act fast, we're going to give you a very, very special deal. If you like special deals, keep listening. So are you ready to outfish all of your friends and have tight lines every single trip? Yes, Luke, are you? Always. I know you are. Now, guys, this is your chance to come join us and the Salt Strong Insider Fishing Club. It really, really boils down to three things. Number one is saving money that attracts a lot of people because now we have everything from rods and reels. And we have some of our own proprietary stuff like our slam shitty lures and power prawns, et cetera, and blackout chum. So saving money on tackle is an easy way to justify it. We have many people who save literally three, four, five hundred dollars uh, per year just from the discounts alone so that's kind of the logical like easy way to justify uh you know being part of a club is hey i'm buying tackle anyways this is uh, this is a no-brainer i'm, I'm going to be able to save money even if i don't even watch luke's 10 minute game plan every week i'm still going to save money on my tackle but number two is we want to save you time we want to show you where to catch slams every week we want to give you all of the intel and shortcuts you need to consistently go out there and catch inshore slams. And then the third part is that community. It's, you know, meeting friends. And we have tons of people who say they've now met really some of their closest friends, people they're texting with and hanging out with on the weekends, all from this community. We even now have a directory. So once you get in, you get to see everyone in your area. And we now, as I mentioned earlier, have meetups 
going on in uh, pretty much from Texas to Virginia and everywhere in between uh, with different anglers. Sometimes it's just two people going out kayak fishing or weight fishing on the boat. And sometimes it's, you know, it, it's 50 people. And uh, it has been really, really cool to see this community part uh, grow. And so here's what we want to give you today. So we want to give you the entire smart fishing spot system. This is just a, a little bit of what you saw today, the smart fishing tides and all the interactive training. Interactive means just like this, we're doing stuff live. We actually have a, a live webinar. We do a Zoom call like this for our members every single Thursday, just to prep them for what they might be doing uh, this weekend. And we answer any and all questions there. And a thousand dollar value is very, very conservative. Just knowing how much this would cost you to do it. And just, I mean, knowing that we were spending, you know, 50 grand a year, just on the smart fishing tides uh, to keep that kind of data up there for people. So to me, that's a whole lot more than a thousand. We want to have a conservative number. And number two is the what's working now fishing tips and the different reviews and the shortcuts. These are all the on the water tips and the spot dissections and things that we're doing. Uh, that's also in there. We have a whole video library. We've been doing this, what now, five years, Luke. So, I mean, we're talking, I don't know, it was four or 500 different videos at least that we have in there that are just for insiders only. The stuff that we, we won't share out there on YouTube. And as of course I mentioned, 20% discount on all of the top fishing tackle. And I put $200 value because that's about the average of what our, our members are saving on uh, on their tackle. And so that's a total value, $1,594. And you might be wondering, all right, Joe, Luke, sounds cool. I like you guys. I, I you know, I see there's, you know, 22,000 members in there. It sounds cool. But like, will this work for me? Well, here's who it's worked for. It's we got everyone from Weekend Warriors is probably the biggest chunk. We have full time guides. About 10 percent of our members are full time guides and captains. Uh, we have newbies that come in, people who just never fished before. We have some people who maybe grew up fishing and now, you know, have kids and want to get them fishing and, and just hate hate the feeling of being skunked and not knowing what to do. And obviously boaters, kayakers, uh, stand up paddleboard anglers, shore anglers, everyone from waders and pier fishermen and beach fishing, surf fishing, et cetera. And we do have people in all 50 states, but I, I will say, you know, it's not for everyone. I mean, we want really ideally people who either live in and or fish in Texas to Florida to Virginia or any of those states in between. And that's where we're seeing people have the biggest transformation. But we do have a lot of people from Michigan and Ohio that have either second homes or just come down a couple times a year and uh, and just want to maximize their time and value their time and say, I'll gladly spend 27 cents a day uh, just to go out there and, and know that I'm going to catch more fish than ever before. And um, offshore, a little bit inshore is complete no brainer. And even some freshwater stuff. I mean, even me, I live on a lake and, and I uh, end up doing just as much freshwater fishing as I do uh, saltwater fishing and use the same 90, 10 uh, rules and principles to find, you know, to, to find bass. Uh, any, any comments there, Lukey? Yeah. I mean, it's really for everybody and, and newbies was on there, but I guarantee you a newbie will start, but they're not a newbie for very long uh, because we get, we have all the training. We have structured courses that go through the foundation, right. That teaches the proper foundation. And, and that will take a newbie to an advanced angler in very short time. It's just three hours of video of, of, of organized video tutorials that cover everything from the very beginning to the very advanced. And, and so that's a quick way to, to get from wherever you are to, to being comfortable catching slams throughout all seasons. Yep. And here are two of our insider members landed my girl with a personal best this week. And the knowledge from being an insider has given me memories like this. I once only dreamed of, and then Mitchell, who's now one of our lifers. And uh, this is just two of 20,000 plus, you know, members who were reporting on what's, what, you know, what, what's happened in their life since they joined and how many more fish they're catching and, and, and ultimately just memories they're creating, which is what we're all about. And um, this is a pretty cool story. One of our members, very first inshore fishing tournament and, you know, pretty nervous, you know, was somewhat of a newbie before they joined the insider club. And we have a lot of stories like this now where members, they get enough confidence. They start, you know, dialing in this 90, 10 zone, going from someone who was getting skunked every trip and catching catfish and all of a sudden entered very first tournament and actually won money. I, I can't see the amount, but it was like over a thousand bucks, wasn't it, Luke? Yeah, it was, too, it was over two thousand dollars. Yeah, caught the biggest red of the tournament. So he won the tournament and then he, he joined the Calcutta and, and won that, too. So it was uh, pretty cool to see that. That was up in the Jacksonville area. Yeah, not awesome. 
So once again, here's what you're going to get today. The 9010 fishing spot system, the what's working now, fishing tips, reviews, and shortcuts, fishing spot dissection video library. That's where we go dissect new spots uh, on satellite maps every single week and 20% discount on all the top fishing tackle total value, $1,500. And ninety-four dollars. We're also going to throw in some bonuses. These are kind of the must-have courses. This is the foundation. We have like twenty-seven courses, maybe twenty-eight now, in our product. If you go to Salt Run Common Products, you'll see all the courses there. These are the three that we believe. If you go through these, you will have the foundation to go out there and slay fish. And the first one, it's a lot of what we did today. It's the finding spots mastery. So it's taking what we did today to like the next level on steroids. This is like we did you know, not, not um, second grade, but this is just kind of basic generic middle school stuff. This is like high school collegiate. Uh, this is taken up to the next level. And obviously there's some really advanced stuff in there as well, but this is the key. I mean, once you can start predicting where the fish will be based on the 90 10 zone, everything else is easier. And we used to sell this at one point for 300 bucks. Now we've, now you can't even buy it. This is only for our members. This is like the one thing when you get in the community, we're like, all right, go through this finding spots mastery. Even full-time guides get in there and they're like, holy smokes, I had no idea about this. Yeah, this is this was the this is the foundation. This is the first step of the foundation. And uh, and this it's crucial. Yep. Um, and and we and we obviously are updating. So it goes through all the the online maps, you know, the different map platforms have their own pros and cons. And so it, it goes on, you know, Google Earth Pro, the normal Google Maps, MapQuest. And, uh, and a variety of other map features that helps you get the, the best out of your time, uh, where you know exactly which one. Some of them actually have really good historical information. Some have terrible historical or no historical. So uh, you'll see all of the nuances like that, plus obviously the fish behavior, which is most important. Yep. And this one, and this one we're going to give you as well, they're interactive. All of our mastery courses, meaning they're online, you don't you don't get a DVD that you know scratches and you can't use anymore. This is online. You can use it from your phone, your desktop, laptop, anywhere there's internet. You can watch all of these and leave a question to the instructor, you know, one of our fishing coaches, and we get back with you and sometimes go out and film new videos. So this is another one critical. You know, you're gonna find the 9010 zone when you join the club. Like you are gonna become proficient at finding the feeding fish. That's a promise. The toughest part after that is making sure you position and approach, regardless if you're in wading boots or if you're in a boat or kayak, it doesn't matter. So many spots are blown out because a person finds the feeding zone. They, 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 they do the hardest part and then they blow it because they come in from the wrong way or come in too fast or, or too loud or whatever the, the case may be. And so we put an entire course on exactly how to position your boat and or kayak in any scenario, depending on which way the wind's going versus current, when to, you know, when to give way to current over wind and vice versa. And then also depending on the spot, right? You're gonna approach an oyster bar a little bit differently than a, than a dock, obviously. And so we go through all of that. And this is another one, our members go through like, man, I can't believe I've been doing it wrong this whole time. This is a game changer. Yeah, most people, that's the problem. The approach is bad and, yes. and they actually are in a good spot. And, and by the time they get to it, the fish are gone because they, they came from the wrong direction. So yep. super important. And then number three, this is kind of just an overall course. And we have three coaches. So it was Luke and Tony and Peter Deeks. So Peter Deeks did more of the live bait fishing. Uh, Luke was more on the artificial kind of out of a skiff. And then Tony was all out of a kayak with uh, a little bit of a little bit of both but mostly artificial lures and so we covered three different areas of expertise and covered all four seasons this thing is like super comprehensive we started selling this one once again at 297 we now i, I don't think you can even buy it we took it off and it's only for our members we're going to give it to you completely for free so all three of these are free bonuses when you join us today we're also going to throw in this is this is a crowd favorite are the mini fishing courses We've gone out with guides like Captain Mike Goodwine uh, here in, uh, in Tampa Bay area. What a character. And, and just filmed all their best stuff. And this is stuff like we made a promise. This will never be out on, on YouTube. This is only for our Insider members. And now we have, I think it's similar. It's, you know, 20 something different little mini courses on everything from, you know, triple tail and how to use, you know, soft plastic jerk baits to just, you know, live bait fishing, et cetera. 
uh, trip, uh, what cobia, we have all different types of species. And we're gonna give you that completely for free as well. I say $997 value. That's super conservative. I mean, we spent well over 30, 30 something thousand dollars just going out with these guys and paying them for this uh, Intel because it is really, really top notch. And then number five, the community, as I mentioned, this is one of the coolest places for us. We we spent so much money and so much time building it out. And now we're like reaping the rewards because it's getting used like crazy. Uh, so if you've what you might be watching this right now on Facebook, Facebook's cool. There's some cool stuff to it. But the one thing I don't like about it, it's not organized, right? And there's negative people on there all the time, just you know, belittling people and cursing and just bad attitudes. We don't allow that. It's 100% positive. We don't, we literally don't allow cursing or negativity. We only want people who are uplifting and sharing and helpful. And that's why I truly believe it is the best fishing community out there. There's no fluff. There's no ads. There's nothing but just helpful people sharing fishing reports and sharing what tackle is working, what baits are working, et cetera. Uh, you will absolutely love it when you uh, when you get in there today. So once again, here's what you're going to get. The 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System, the What's Working Now Fishing Tips, the Spot Dice Section Video Library, 20% discounts on all the top fishing tackle, all three of those courses, the Mini Fishing Course Library, and the Private Online Community. Total value, $3,559. So question for you. If all this did was just help you catch one or two more fish per trip, would it be worth it? And Luke, what if it saved you 60 minutes per trip, right? Not having to waste your time bouncing around from unproductive spot to another, would it be worth it? What if it helped you outfish your friends every single trip and had a phone just loaded with fish picks? Would it be worth it? So how much is all this worth to you? I mean, I don't know if you've ever done the math, but it would cost you $9,600 to hire a full-time guide just once per week for a year, not every single day. That's just once per week. It costs you about 10 grand with tip to hire a full-time guide just once per week, 52 times. So what we're going to give you is like having a full-time guide in your back pocket and you get to see new spots and new trends every single week. You get to understand how to identify new spots based on trends just like the pros do. And then knowing the latest trends for finding the feeding zones, I mean, how much would this be worth to you? How much would it be worth to have a fishing guide in your back pocket? One that you can literally get on the community and ask a question and get pretty much instant feedback on where you should be fishing this coming weekend or, hey, am I doing this right? Or is this the right rig uh, for this scenario? I mean, how much is that worth to you? So you're probably wondering if you're still here, what is the cost? This sounds great. There's a lot of stuff here. What is the cost? It must be super expensive, right? Well, you can see why it's a good deal even at $3,559, but we're not going to ever charge that. That's, that's too obnoxious. I mean, it's a fishing club. Like we want this to be something that everyone who's serious about their time and values their time and money can access. And because you made it this far and because you are special, we're going to give all this to you, the entire club, everything we've talked about here, including some other bonuses and some waterproof decals, all for just $97 today. And we have an unheard of 365 day, 100% money back guarantee. And we even go a step further that if you stick with it for a year, even just 300 days, if you stick with the majority of the vast majority of the year, 300 days or more. And if you don't think it was the best fishing investment you've ever made, and if you didn't save time and money, then you shoot us an email. We'll give you your $97 back plus another hundred bucks. We'll literally double your money if it wasted your time. So if that sounds like it's of interest to you and you want to join us and all the other amazing anglers in there, go to saltstrom.com forward slash price. And we have a special page up there for you. You can see all this stuff, see everything that you get, including the 100% money back guarantee. You sign up, you get instant access today, and you can start saving money in your tackle. You can literally start buying things like Power Prawn if you have been around the whole time. Luke mentioned his killer day today using the Power Prawn and a little spray of Dr. Juice on there. Uh, those are products that are proprietary to, to us. And uh, e even though we open up to the public occasionally, you're still paying 20% more. Why not save the money on the best tackle? And 27 cents per day, if you want to do the math, and especially if you want to justify it to your wife like I do with everything, that's a whole lot less than a cup of coffee per day. In fact, I don't know that it's possible to even find a cup of coffee for 27 cents per day. 
So most people, like if you're like my wife and go to Starbucks every once in a while, spending four dollars on a super duper cappuccino chai tea. I mean, this is 27 cents per day. Once again, here's all the stuff you're gonna get. Look at this awesome. Yeah, and they, so yeah, Man. the $97 covers you all the stuff for an entire yes. year. That's the 27 cents per day. And again, which which is a crazy value, and and we uh we have a crazy guarantee on top of it. Yep. And We've been doing this for five years. I, I wish you guys, and some of you I know that are probably listening or watching, and we're so grateful for you. You don't even know. Some of you got in it five years ago. We have most of the members who signed up five years ago are still members today, which is really, really cool. And back then we had like two bullet points. Like it was basically like, hey, we, you know, we go out there and it's always been about the 90 and it's always been about doing some insider fishing reports and showing you where you should be fishing. And that was it. We had no discounts, we had no community. It was literally just, hey, we're just going to help you catch fish. And now look at all this amazing stuff. I mean, it's crazy the value that is here now. And as this grows, and, and obviously you get to lock in your rate for life because we have raised the price. The people who got in five years ago are at a lower rate. So as this grows, your price is locked in forever and you continually get more and more stuff just based on economies of scale and based on the, you know, every time we hit another 10,000 members, we're able to go out there and get better discounts for you guys and get better deals on all this stuff. So it's all yours for just $97 today. It's saltstrong.com forward slash pricing. So saltstrong.com forward slash pricing, you will get instant access to all this covers you for an entire year and you know, no other charges or anything like that. And even uh, after what I think it's like right before 10 days before, you know, your year's up, you even get a reminder, just, we want to make sure you love it. And it was a fit. Uh, we, we don't ever want anyone sticking around unless you thought it was amazing value. We were raised by hardworking parents that always taught us like, we don't deserve to keep your money unless you're absolutely thrilled. And it's how we wish other companies treated us, right? I mean, how cool would it be that everything you bought, whether it's something physical or service, they had a 365 day, 100% money back guarantee, right? I mean, that would change everything. And so we wanted to do that because it's how we wish people treated us. So, and we've had a few people that have made it, you know, 300, you know, and, and we look at it by the way, cause we get to see if people log in. We had one person recently that made it all the way to like 365 and it was, it was a, a female and she's like, you know, I, I didn't feel like I caught any more fish and she never even logged in. We still gave her money back. Like we, we have no questions asked. Uh, we're, we're, once again, we're people who want to be, who, who, who want to, who want to be treated the same way that, that, you know, we wish other companies treated us. So if at any time you feel like, hey, this is just not what I thought it was, or it's, you know, not value, or even if I just don't have enough time, even though just 10 minutes a week, uh, we'll give you your money back, no questions asked. Because we just want to make this an absolute no-brainer, because we know once you're going to get in there, and once you make your first post in the community, you will absolutely love it. So you got two choices here. Option number one is do nothing and not take this small leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. Or second option, Luke, which one sounds better to you, right? Pony up the small investment compared to all the value you get in return and just give it a shot. If it works, great. That's awesome. You're catching more fish and saving money on your tackle. If not, just ask for your money back and you will get it. Once again, 365 day guarantee. Sign up today. If you don't like it for any reason, and we don't care if it's day 364 and 23 hours and 59 minutes, just email us or call us and get a real live human American person and we'll quickly refund your money with no further charges or obligations. So the real question, if you made it this far, is it worth investing just $97 to get guaranteed results when it comes to fishing, when it comes to something that you love like we do? Is it worth that? Just 27 cents a day. Even if it's just half of what we claim today on this webinar, it will pay for itself in the very first month. So let me show you what to do next. You're going to go to saltstrong.com forward slash pricing, and you'll see exactly where you can sign up right there. And here's everything you're going to get today. It's all there on that page too. Uh, so if you're looking at this, this is the 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System, the What's Working Now Fishing Tips, Spot Dissection Video Library, 20% discounts on all the top fishing tackle, uh, all the bonuses, the Finding Spots Mastery Course, Positioning and Approach Course, inshore fishing mastery course, the mini fishing course library, and the private online community. Total value, $3,559. And if, guys, if you didn't sign up immediately, number one might be, you know, I'm worried this won't work in my area. 
we have proven over and over and over again, even with, you know, our fishing coaches like Wyatt, who literally moved from Tennessee to North Carolina to now Texas using these exact same teachings, using the exact same trends that we're putting out every week. This flat out works, which is why we've been able to track people from Texas up to Virginia. Really, if anywhere that there's redfish and speckled trout and flounder, this stuff works. Obviously, you know, a couple of states we got snook and we do some other things like cobia and triple tail and mangrove snapper. But for the most part, we're just trying to catch those inshore slams. And if you have those fish in your area, this will work for you. Uh, number two, you know, I don't have a boat or I'm a kayak angler, shore angler. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I, I would say the majority, maybe half of our of our anglers uh, don't have a boat. I think maybe half do. And even some of them, like Waiter Dave, one of our coaches, I mean, he's got a really nice bay boat, and yet he goes weight fishing most of the time. Uh, up to like, you know, 250 days a year, he's weight fishing. So we have a lot of members that are fishing in all different types of scenarios, all different types of spots. And regardless of if you're in your waders, or if you're in a kayak, or if you're in a nice expensive bay boat, it still applies. The 90-10 zone's still the same either way. You still got to go find where 90% of the feeding fish are to be able to go out there and catch fish. Yeah, and, and the courses, right, those, those top three courses you get, they'll actually show the, the uniqueness of, of using the maps if you're waiting, right? There's some, there's some tricks you can do to actually find spots that you can access by land. Um, and, and so, so again, the fish don't care how to get to them, right? They're going to be in the same <laughs> spot regardless. So we teach you where the fish are going to be and why, and then we help you get to them. So whether you're in a boat, a kayak, or by foot, it supplies to everybody. Number three, I don't have enough time. Here's the deal. We're all busy. We get it. It's, it's the number one thing we try to think about when we're trying to create content and stuff for, for our members. And that's why the, you know, the stuff we have on YouTube is completely different than what we have for our members. The members are getting the real time on demand, what's working now. We have the master courses, the stuff that the members get, you cannot find out there on YouTube. We're constantly trying to boil everything down to as simple as possible. And with that smart fishing game plan, I mean, that was game changing for our members. We didn't have that forever. That was just from listening to all you members uh, who said, you know what, I, I just, I don't have time to go through all this stuff. Can you just simplify it for me? Like, all right, how about 10 minutes? Because it can't be done in a minute. Uh, even if you called up one of your buddies who's a full-time guy, they're not going to be able to just tell you in a minute, you know, what you should be looking for. But 10 minutes, we can literally show you the types of spots you should be fishing for every single weekend based on real trends. So if you can just give us 10 minutes a week, not a day, 10 minutes a week, it will change your entire fishing game. And of course, the tackle part, you're going to be buying tackle anyways. And not only do we want to help you save money on tackle, we want to help you avoid all the biggest pitfalls because we've done them. Trust me, we have spent so much money on tackle that doesn't work. We have been bamboozled by some of the craziest stuff out there that looked good it was a shiny object we're like man why did we waste our money on that and so that's a big part of what we do is the consumer reports aspect we go out with our own harder money and we buy everything we still go buy this stuff and at least test it because occasionally we find some hidden gems but for the most part we say guys avoid this stuff we had a couple here recently guys were looking at like 130 dollar it was uh, the line welder thing. Another one, look at the fish call, like stuff that we spent our money on and blew a couple hundred dollars on those combined. And they were not, they were horrible products. And we report that we, we have no sponsors. We've had people who wanted to sponsor us and we've rejected everyone for that reason. We want to be unbiased and tell you exactly what works and then give you the best stuff at 20% off. There is no reason that you should have to sp overspend on, uh, on your tackle. So once again, here's what you're going to get to get today. The 9010 Smart Fishing Spot System. What's working now? Fishing tips and reviews. The Spot Nice section video library. 20% discounts on all the top fishing tackle. All these bonuses. The Finding Spots Master Course. Positioning Approach Course. Inshore Fishing Master Course. The Mini Fishing Course Library. And the Private Online Community. 3,559 value. So we help you save money on tackle. I mentioned it. This number is pretty important. If you're listening, I'm just going to read it to you. 1,592. That was a report where we saw from, I believe the ASA, American Sport Fish Association, said the 
average American, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure average American angler spends $1,592 on tackle alone. That does not include your boat. That does not include your kayak. That does not include your GPS and sonar units and power poles and all the accessories for your boats and kayaks. That's just tackle. So you can take 20% of that if you're just average, if like me, you probably spend even more than that. And that's how much you could be saving just on the tackle. And of course, we want to even knock that number down more by helping you avoid all the pitfalls of the tackle that you don't need. This is the average of what someone in America is spending on tackle today. And you can get, once again, all this, including the discounts, for just one payment of $97 today. And we even have a monthly fee uh, or a monthly uh, option. If you just, for whatever reason, money's tight and like 97, uh, I get it. Uh, so we have a monthly option there, but we it's very highly incentivized. You save 60% by going annual, uh, by uh, by going the, the 97. So it's saltstrong.com forward slash pricing. Go there right now. Join us today. Get started today saltstrong.com forward slash pricing. If you have any questions, hit us up. We love hearing from both members and non-members. People who have questions. We're here to help. Uh, we built this whole community, this whole company, this whole platform was built on help and education. And uh, if there's anything we can do for you, any other questions you have, you got our email support at saltstrong.com. We'll come to one of our team members. And we have a whole support staff, by the way. It used to be just Luke and I. Now there's like 15, yeah, 16 of us as of uh, next week of like full-time fishing coaches and support staff just to help you get everything you need, whether it be on the water, off the water, buying tackle or getting in the community or finding, you know, the, the trends in your area. We have support staff here to help you out. And that's all at saltstrong.com forward slash pricing. Go join us today. I cannot wait to see you inside of the community. I, I cannot wait to see ultimately just all the new fish picks you have and all the memories you get to create with your family and your loved ones, coworkers, whoever it might be that you're trying to go out there and impress and put on some fish. Uh, we get it. We've been in your shoes. We've had some really, really tough, brutal days. Uh, and we've had some really amazing days. And now they're a whole lot more consistent on the amazing than the brutal. There's still going to be some days that are just tough, right? There's always any fishing guy will tell you there's days that are just a tough bite, but we want to put all of the chips in your favor. If you will, we want to give you every possible opportunity to maximize your results, to be in the feeding zone, to be in that 90, 10 zone and to catch more fish per hour than you ever imagined. And if you don't, then you don't pay. It's that simple. Yeah, we, we put all the risk on us. We've been doing this now for five, over five years. Uh, we know it works. And, and, and so we, we know that there's a hesitation. Okay, oh man, I'm buying the online fishing club. Like what is, you know, what is that? I'm not familiar with it. Trust us, it works. Yeah. We have members from Texas all the way across the Gulf to the tip of Florida and then all the way up the Atlantic, even up to New Jersey. And, uh, and, and who, are, who are loving it, who are renewing. Again, now that we have the tackle discounts, you can financially justify it. If, as Joe, Joe showed, the average person then over $1,500 on tackle every year. I mean, uh, that 20% off, right? That's, that's going to be $300. And, um, and that's, that's just obviously, uh, you know, pales in comparison to the $97 um, fee. So yeah, I highly recommend giving it a shot. Yep. So come join us. You'll see why we're having so much fun in there. Uh, and you'll see why Luke and I are now in there every single day, at least an hour a day, just replying to everyone and reading what, what's happened and, and uh, looking at the different regions and seeing, you know, you know what, what's happened, what, what's happened with the trends. Uh, I know you'll be absolutely blown away. So go to saltstrom.com forward slash pricing. We will see you in there. Guys, gals, we appreciate you big time for you current members uh, who are on this. Thank you guys so much. It really does mean the world to us. You are a family. Uh, we, we literally celebrate you every day. We pray for all of our members uh, every, every single morning uh, when we wake up. And, uh, and I wish you could be on some of our team meetings when, uh, I mean, we just gush at some of the emails that we, uh, that we get from you, our, our current members who have, you know, caught a new personal best or your first inch or slam or just, you know, got one of your kids on their, their personal best fish. Uh, or, you know, got a coworker or a boss when you're nervous and I had to impress someone and, and we're able to confidently go out there and catch fish. We love that. So keep those coming. We love those emails. 
we literally celebrate them amongst uh, the whole team here internally. And it, and it keeps us fired up. It keeps that's that's the fuel that we need. Uh, it's all about creating memories out there. And so anytime you guys have something cool, let us know about it. We love seeing it. Obviously, post it in the community if you're a member. If you're not, this is your chance. Come join us today. See what it's all about. See why, why 22,000 members, those are our current members, are in there right now, today, as insider members. Join us at saltstrom.com forward slash pricing. Other than that, we are out. And we will talk to you on the next one. Yeah, and one thing to Larry. So sorry about that. I saw your your uh, question about the text answers not showing up on the background. We'll make sure to uh, to make that to make sure to fix that on future ones. So our apologies there. But uh, yeah, I can't wait. And we also forgot the inner circle too. So we need to, we need to update that. We do have a weekly inner circle call where Q and A with live Q and A uh, lasts an entire hour. So you can fire away all the questions you have and we answer real time. Yep. So if that, um, if you guys still haven't joined, what the heck? It's ready. It's from the com. Four slash pricing. Come see <laughs> us. Talk about anything. We talk about Luke's hair if you want to. All right, <laughs> guys. We appreciate it. We uh, we love you. And uh, hit us up. You got uh, the email support at saltstorm.com and our toll free number. Hit us up anytime we could help out. Otherwise, we'll talk to you on the next one. Peace. So, yeah.